What's up, captains and cadets? All right, so we have our air bike fleet, right? We made that in the very last video. Now it's time to do something with that air bike fleet. And I was thinking we can go take it for a little bit of a flight. We can go to a star base. We're gonna mine. We're gonna mine up some, maybe some copper ore I was thinking about. And then we're gonna take that copper ore, that raw resource, and we're gonna bring it back to the central space station. And then the video after this one, we are gonna do a little bit of crafting and we're gonna craft that copper ore into some ammo. So let's go, let's go do some mining. All right, before we jump into Sage Labs, I just wanna preface this that we are only playing with one little tiny air bike. This game is definitely made for having fleets of ships and possibly even multiple fleets of ships um, is maybe the best way to go about mining. If you have a whole bunch of ships making up um, your fleet, you'll be able to have a larger cargo space and you'll be able to mine a lot more raw resources at a time and then you'll be able to craft obviously a lot more stuff at a time and if you have multiple fleets you can either have two fleets mining at one star base, star base so like maybe two fleets mining for iron or you can have one fleet you know mining iron and another fleet mining carbon and you can kind of have fun kind of juggling both fleets at once we're working with one single air bike so this is going to be a little bit tedious but it's still going to show you the whole entire you know process of mining so let's give it a shot let's go let's head on into sage labs all right guys so right here is our little tutorial air bike fleet. We left it at the MUD Central Space Station and you can get over to the Central Space Station either by clicking right here and select a sector, the MUD CSS. You can hit navigate to sector or you can go down to the bottom of the page and as long as your fleets tab is clicked, you can hit go to asset location. That'll bring us over to the Central Space Station and you can see right here that you can't see your fleet, but that's because our fleet is in the Starbase itself, in the Central Space Station and it's docked in the Starbase hangar. So if we click on that, then you can see there's our fleet. There's our air bike fleet, our single ship air bike fleet that we made the other day. And it is all fueled up and has plenty of ammo. But the one thing we'll also have to bring with us if you plan on mining, because we are going to go mine some copper ore in this tutorial, um, we're going to have to bring a little bit of food. And I kind of did a little peek already and you need 25 units of food to fill up our air bike fleet. Um, I'll show you how I did that in just a second. But what we're going to do is not bring 25 units of food, but we're going to bring let's bring 75 units of food so we can mine three times. So we so what I did is I clicked that supply cargo on the food in the little food area right there. And I'm going to transfer that those 75 units of food out of my central space station into my air bike fleet. And you can see right here stored in cargo hold 75 units of food. So now we can undock this fleet. It has everything we need to go mining. Now I'm going to show you where we're going to go on the um, hologram news network map that we've used before. Hold on one sec. I'll bring it right up. Okay. As you saw that we were right here on the, at the mud central space station and right from that central space station, if you feel like mining hydrogen, you can mine away, just mine some hydrogen right there. And uh, it's really easy because it goes right right where your crypto wallet is if you just feel like bringing that right onto the marketplace. But we're going to take a flight. We're going to fly over to this MUD5 section right here. If you can see my cursor, the MUD5 section right here, which is copper. And what, we what we're going to do is we're going to mine the copper. And in order to make ammo, you have to craft the copper ore into copper, like copper bars, and then further on craft that into ammo. And we're going to do that in the following video, do a little crafting. But right now we're just going to do a quick mining loop, okay? All right, now there's two ways to navigate the map. Um, we mentioned this in a, in a previous video. There's one, we can hit manage fleet and it brings up the map right there. And then my more preferred style right now is to go to the dashboard and I go to the quick command tab and I can hit warp and sub warp. Now, if we warp, I'll show you. If we warp, we can only do one little square at a time. And this is where we're going. This is the mud five that we looked at the uh, hologram news network map on. So it would, it, it would probably be faster than sub warping possibly because um you what you, but what you have to do is you, you're going to warp and then you're going to wait for a cooldown and then you're going to warp and you're going to wait for a cooldown and you're going to warp and wait for a cooldown you have to do that 13 times or so to get over here maybe 12 but if we hit sub warp we can just click right on that mud five and i'm circling it with my cursor you can just double check that you're going to mud five which is the one that we want to go to for that copper ore and all you have to do is hit sub warp and once you do that It'll tell you right on the bottom right here how long it's going to take. So it's going to take 20 minutes and 10 seconds for our air bike to sub warp over there. And we should be able to mine three times for copper while we're there. And what we're going to do is we're going to mine for that copper and then bring it back to the central space station. And right there, 
we're going to start crafting and we'll do that in the next episode. So we're just doing a nice quick little loop. So our air bike fleet has now arrived at Mud 5. You can see right here, location and zone. We can go to exit subwarp. We're on the quick command um, tab still, by the way. And let's go to fleets now. Take it out of quick command and go to the fleets tab and then we can go to the asset location. All right, so now we're over at the Mud 5 starbase. And if we hit this manage fleet, remember I said we need about 25 units of food. Now we have 75 units of food. It's taken up 30% of our cargo space. So if we empty out about 50, 50 units of this food right here, so we only have 25, it's going to be actually a good amount to mine. And I'll show you that if we go to mining ops on this tab right here, we were in movement. You go two over to mining ops and you scroll down. It says food required till full. Now we have 30%. So it's, it's basically looking at um, the math mathematics. It's basically looking at the math uh, to fill up the other 70%. We need about 19 units of food. Now we're going to shrink that down a little bit and that should give us a nice full cargo space of iron ore. So let's go dock this fleet and put some of our food in the storage at the Starbase. So we'll go to the Starbase hangar and we're going to go all the way down here on our on our fleet controls right here we're going to go to the very bottom and that's our cargo hold and we're going to transfer this into the starbase and then we are going to supply just 25 units back into our cargo hold there we go and now we need to undock our fleet undock all we are going to go to the undocked fleet tab now which is where our fleet is located we're going to go to manage fleet we're going to go to those that mining ops tab that we said and now you can see food required to full is 24 actually so i was off i was i, I thought it was 25 24. so now we're going to hit initiate mining we should have 224 units of iron ore inside our fleet so now we just got to wait just a little bit of time right here actually if you go to manage fleet one more time and you're looking in the mining ops you can kind of see how fast it actually mines so we're up to three units so far now if you have almost some much larger ships with some different specs um, this mining will go a lot faster. I can show you on my other Ooster fleet real fast um, how fast uh, how fast those guys mine. We'll be right back. We'll go check out the Ooster fleet so you can see the difference. All right, so this is my Ooster fleet in Sage Labs. And one of my fleets is this mining imp fleet. And when I click on it, if you go over to fleet composition, you can see the ships that are in that fleet. And you can see I actually have a mining ship. This ship is specifically made for mining. It's called, called the Armstrong Imp Tip. It's the smallest of the three mining ships that Star Atlas um, has available. Um, if you do want to buy one of these Armstrong ships, please use my Starpath link down below because it'll save you 10%. And I believe a lot of these ships, um, a lot of those Armstrong ships are not being sold secondhand. So you might actually have to buy it right from the Automata team. And my Starpath link will save you 10%. Um, I also have some Pierce X4s. The reason I have these extra smalls in there is I was actually doing a little bit of SDU searching with this Armstrong Tip. And I just wanted to boost the amount of um, boost the amount of SDUs I could find. Um, we'll go over that in the next in another video. Um, so anyway, let's go to fleet resources. Make sure we have some food, which we do. We're gonna undock this baby. And once it's undocked, we're gonna mine. And I just want to show you. Go to mining ops. We're gonna mine some hydrogen. I just want to show you the difference in speed. Now there's one more thing that actually comes into play as far as um, the speed goes with mining. And that is the hardness level of the resource. So not only does this mine super fast because I have um, a, a small mining ship in here that I, that can mine very fast, but I also have those extra um, Pierce X4s. So we have multiple ships right here mining. But there's one more thing I want to show is that I am mining right here in the MRZ21 area. I'm mining hydrogen. And see that little number two right there? That is the hardness of the resource. And if it is a one, that means that it is very hard, um, like the the uh, the difficulty to mine this resource is the most difficult as a 1. 1. 1.5 is a little bit softer and a 2 is the softest. So you'll be able to mine a resource that says that is 2 a lot faster than you can mine a resource that is 1. So just something to keep in mind. So if we actually went over to mine ammo at the MRZ4 or the MRZ1, we'd be mining just a little bit faster because it would be a little bit softer because those are both 1.5 coppers. Oh, also the MRZ7 here in the mud zone. So there's three different areas that we could mine. I chose the slowest for some reason. <laughs> so let's go, and go over to our fleet and see how we're doing. Let's go. All right, so we're back in the mud wallet where we have our little air bike fleet. And yes, we mined our 224 units of copper ore. So we're going to hit this harvest resource button.
All right, and that now what we can do is we can dock the ship. We can go to the starbase. We can go to the hangar. And we are 93% done with our cargo hold. So let's let's transfer that into the starbase. All right, and so if you actually want to just continue to mine, since we bought, brought 75 units of food to this starbase, we can mine another two times. You would just resupply your cargo again and then rinse and repeat. But let's just pretend like we mine three times just to save a little bit of time in this video. And I want to show you how to actually transfer the copper back into your ship. Um, you would go to my inventory right here that one tab and once you are in my inventory you can see the copper ore right there i have actually 237 i have a little extra because i was starting to do um another mining operation i decided to to cut this video a little shorter so but we're going to supply all of that into our ship since our total hold of our ship is 249 we should be able to fit all 237 units of copper ore into our ship which we can we can transfer that to the fleet and now that copper ore is back in our fleet. We can see that if we go to Starbase Hangar again and we scroll down, now we transferred that copper ore back into the fleet. So now we can undock this, undock this fleet. And then I'm gonna go to the main page right here and I'm gonna go back to the quick commands and I'm gonna go to sub warp. And for some reason it's not showing my fleet, but we know, let's see, is this one the CSS? That's the CSS right there. We are going to hit the sub warp button. And now our, sh our fleet is flying back to the CSS and it's going to take another 20, 20 minutes. Um, so we'll catch back, catch you guys back there. All right. So our air bike has arrived in the central space station. We can exit the sub warp. And then we can dock our ship from there and then we can start crafting that copper into that copper ore into some ammo we're going to do that in the very next video i am beyond the horizon if you can like this video it will be so awesome to me and if you subscribe then you'll get the notification that the next video about crafting is out i love you all you guys are the best i'll talk to you guys later i'll talk to you in the next one later